Flow meters are devices used in process systems to measure the flow rate of a liquid or a gas. Process system applies to the facility where the device is installed, such as a meter station, pump station, compressor station, or processing facility. The flow meter works by sending a signal to a flow computer or signal generator, which then converts the instrument reading into a useful measurement. There are several different types of flow meters. Each type uses a different technology for measuring the rate of flow. The type and size of the meter is determined by the product or service. We will review the following meter types. Positive displacement meters, turbine meters, orifice meters or differential pressure meters, ultrasonic meters, Coriolis meters, mag meters, and vortex meters. A positive displacement meter works by using fluid to mechanically displace components such as blades or veins in chambers inside the meter to measure flow. The blades or veins work like a revolving door or a turnstile. As the fluid flows through the meter, it enters the chambers and displaces the internal components. This causes the components to rotate, allowing the passage of fixed volume amounts. The measured fluid between the blades are called parcels. The number of parcels that pass through the chamber determines the media volume. The rate of revolution determines the flow rate. As flow rate increases, so does the rotational speed of the blades or veins in chambers. Turbine meters are mechanical meters that operate in a similar way to a boat propeller or windmill. The meter uses the mechanical energy of the fluid to rotate a rotor in the flow stream. The turbine wheel is set in the path of a fluid stream. The flowing fluid moves the turbine blades. When a steady rotation speed has been reached, the speed is proportional to fluid velocity. Orifice meters are a type of differential pressure meter and are generally used in gas applications. This meter uses a flat plate called an orifice plate which has a calibrated hole that reduces the gas flow from high pressure to lower pressure in the line. Pressure sensors are placed just upstream and downstream of the orifice plate. The differential pressure transmitter transmits the difference between the two readings. An electronic calculation consisting of the two pressure readings, temperature and inlet pressure, are used to calculate volume. Coriolis flow meters consist of one or two U-shaped flow tubes with an inlet on one side and an outlet on the other, enclosed in a sensor housing connected to an electronics unit. The fluid flowing through the tube will induce a rotation or twist to the tube. This twist results in a phase difference, time lag, between the inlet side and the outlet side and this phase difference is directly affected by the mass passing through the tube. 